Yo guys, Features Gaming here and today we will take a look at what has been updated in WCR version 1.1. So let's start off with one of the most noticeable changes, which is the GUI. As soon as you join the game, the main menu screen has changed slightly. Just, just ignore that. Featuring the same buttons as 1.0, but also new ones that take you to the shop and also a brand new feature called badges and stats. This new feature is a great addition, as although they may be easy to complete, it shows that WCR may be adding more difficult ones, something some of the Roblox train games haven't implemented. Jobs and passes is self-explanatory, so no need to cover that. This new GUI continues throughout the whole main menu, and after selecting your train and route and spawn in, the train GUI is also different. Going from left to right, the first square shows your destination and your next stop, which also includes the head code, time and distance to the next station. Something I need to pay attention to quite a bit. The next square shows a working speedometer as well with a speed limit in the bottom right, and also the AWS alarm is in the middle. The next one we have is the next signal, which displays the platform you're on at a station. If the next feather signal is illuminated, the distance to the next signal with the aspects on the left. It also includes the signal head code on the bottom with the aspects along with the platform you'll be going onto when approaching a station. The next box includes the trains functions and stuff like that, such as the horn, doors and map button to name a few. And the next box is a combined throttle and brake indicator, which I love as it's way more condensed than the previous one. So now let's talk about the station updates and upgrades and there has unfortunately been a station that has been demolished which is Myrna Docks. However, this section of the map has been largely updated with two brand new extensions to Redborough and Oakwich on Sea, with a total of seven new stations being added. These new stations are Redborough and Oakwich on Sea like I mentioned previously, White Coast South, Myrna Harbour, Myrna Town, Myrna Beach and Blackstone. Myrna Harbour also features the training outline from White Coast Park and that is because the training briefings that used to take place at White Coast Park will be changed to being here. And this is also the new map to show you where the placement of these new stations are. And that blue part is actually water so you will actually need to drive over a bridge which I think is really cool. Now with these new additions a few of the other stations have been updated too. The most noticeable one is Bracknell Parkway that I still think looks like a swimming pool entrance. Norwich Central has also had some new decorations added onto the concourse as well with a brand new first class lounge with an aquarium with some interesting looking fish and Rosewell's terminating platforms have been removed more on that later. And along with this, a large amount of the scenery has been changed and added, mostly in the extension areas with Skegness, I mean, um, Myrna Beach. And I couldn't forget about Maxwell the Cat at Oakwich. Let's talk about trains now, and there have been five new added trains as well as the Class 171 being reintroduced. The five other trains are the Class 68, Class 320 and 321 and 323, and also the Class 700. Also remember how I said earlier that Norwich had a first class lounge? Well, there are a bunch of trains now with a first class coach. There is also another update that I love too, which falls under another category, but I will mention it here. And that is if you're inside of a train, it lessens the sound of the locomotive which is so much more relaxing and immersive. Here is a clip of what I mean. And I just love how just a simple change can change the feeling of the game, making it more realistic. Now, unfortunately, the routes have been reduced from 1.0 from 14 to 10 if we include the shuttle route only used with the class 121, but most routes now will feature the new areas and I am sure there will be more added in the future. R02, which is the shuttle route that was Waiko Central to Myrna Docks, has been moved to Redborough to Myrna Beach because of the demolishment of Myrna Docks. Now, remember when I said earlier that Rosewells had their terminating platforms removed? But well, what happens to the Rosewells loop? Well, RO5 will now be starting and terminating from Myco Central instead. Not much to mention here, but there has been a depot added at Myrna Harbour and also Rosewell's depot has been updated too. There has also been a couple of sidings being added too, one at Norwich for the services that pass through the tunnels only and also one at Myrna Beach for those driving the shuttle route. However, unfortunately, White Coast Park sidings has been removed. 
And finally, let's talk about some additional features that may not be entirely noticeable. So firstly, the announcements have been changed slightly. The onboard announcer has more of a PA announcement EQ filter, making it more realistic, and the station announcer has also been updated too, both also supporting the new stations. The train now standing at platform 7 is the 1547 City Line. Service to Redborough. Calling at Bracknell Parkway, Rosewells, White Coast South, Mariner Harbour, Mariner Town, and Redborough. This train is formed of eight coaches. First class accommodation is available at the rear of the train. This is the City Line service terminating at Redborough. We'll be calling at Bracknell Parkway, Rosewells. White Coast South, Manor Harbour, Manor Town, and Redborough. The next station is Bracknell Parkway. There has also been a new track model added to the game that looks more realistic. There has also been semaphore signals added too, which also look really good and function properly too. When driving or being a passenger, you can click the archery board like button in the top left to view your current quests, and also a button to return to the menu rather than having to respawn. And in the settings screen, you can now select which lighting effects to display to fine tune your settings rather than just toggling them all on. Sound option to enable ambience and and train announcements, and also a feature to change the current time which is currently still being tested as of recording this but should be working now if all goes well. And here is a list of the updated platform staff stations. Rosewells has unfortunately been removed. And that is pretty much everything in the brand new 1.1 update for WCR so I hope you all enjoyed it. I want to give a massive thank you to Trains Forever for allowing me beta access to record this footage and all the information needed to make this video, and all of you for watching so make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed it and consider subscribing for more content and I hope to see you all in the next video or stream but until then take care and peace out.